The government has once again launched efforts to restore Nairobi River, launching the restoration initiative for the second time during its tenure. President William Ruto announced the creation of 200,000 jobs for the youth under the Climate Works Mtani initiative. Let's get more from NTV's Ryan Mushiri. Efforts to clean up Nairobi River have stalled over the years. The Nairobi River Basin Program launched in 1999 and former President Uhuru Kenyatta's Nairobi Regeneration Program also failed to achieve lasting results. A similar attempt to clean up the river between 2001 and 2003 bore no fruit. In 2007, the rehabilitation of the 2.5-kilometer stretch from the Museum Hill roundabout to the Rescos Road Bridge cost the taxpayer approximately 150 million shillings. The exercise was to involve the removal of solid waste, repair the sewer lines, diversion of dry weather river flows, and the formulation of a physical development plan. The cleanup happened, but what remains is just the section between Museum Hill and the Globe Roundabout. The rest is an ISO. In 2009, former Environment Minister John Mechoke was praised for reviving the river that had been affected by the dumping of human and industrial waste. Years after Michuki died, the river is once again dirty. A nation that ignores its environment has no future. We cannot be that nation. Immediate former President Uhuru Kenyatta also set out some 800 million shillings for the regeneration of the river. No tangible results were ever achieved. In 2022, President William Ruto formed the Nairobi River Commission, which was then chaired by former Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu, but its role in the cleaning efforts remains unclear. President William Ruto has once again embarked on a mission to restore the Nairobi River, launching the latest phase of rivers regeneration projects on Thursday in Korogosho. This marks the second time Ruto has initiated a similar project with the first launched in February 2023. During the initial event last year, Ruto announced over 12,000 job openings for youth and women to participate in cleaning efforts. The exercise, which was set to begin in March 2023, was to include activities like tree planting, cleaning water bodies, and greening neighborhoods in the capital. Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja, who was present at the event, said that the project would in the long term cost 8 billion shillings. The president also said the initiative would move forward through a partnership with the Africa Development Bank, which provided some 22 billion shillings to fund the system's construction. However, on Thursday, President William Ruto relaunched the program, which now includes the rehabilitation of the river catchment basin and the construction of affordable housing for families living along the river banks. In another case of the script being the same with just a different cast, he has also introduced the Climate Works Mtani initiative, a national climate action and livelihood program that will engage about 200,000 youth in environmental sustainability efforts. Previous governments have had similar projects with the Kazi Kwavijana by President Mwai Kibaki regime to the Kazi Mtani by President Uhuru Kenyatta and now this. The common denominator in all this being they have all failed. Will Climate Works Mtani take off? Addressing the challenges of climate change. Climate Works will focus on youth empowerment and their active involvement in improving infrastructure including social housing, constructing bridges and access roads, and creating essential physical and social amenities. However, the cleaning of Nairobi River has been an uphill task. Money flows into the river that seems to defy all odds and never gets clean. Will Nairobi River be cleaned up this time round? And what different thing will he do that has not been done in the past? Brian Mushiri, NTV. Nairobi.